That's DJ Khaled featuring Drake and Lil Wayne with their latest single, Staying Alive. Now, the Drake concert that was canceled earlier this week is back on. Uh, Drake performs tomorrow at the Budweiser stage along with Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj. One fan who was supposed to be at Drake's show earlier this week with tr was Toronto's Daniel Wright. Uh, Jill Deacon spoke with him on the program on Tuesday, a day after Drake canceled his concert. Now, of course, Daniel has a tough choice to make because he also has tickets for Lady Gaga's show, which happens tomorrow night. That's right, both are on Saturday, and Lady Gaga's show is at the Rogers Center. Uh, Daniel joins me now. Hello, Daniel. Good afternoon, Manzoa. How are you? I'm well. First off, what went through your mind when you heard Drake's concert was uh, was rescheduled to this weekend? Oh, my heart just broke. I mean, I'm having the worst luck this week, I think, when it comes to uh, <laughs> concerts, unfortunately. But you had some, I hear, through the grapevine, but you had some inside information from Budweiser stage. Yes, um, through the grapevine, yes. I had a couple people uh, reach out and tell me that uh, there's some rumors that mm. uh, the show was actually rescheduled as early as Tuesday night. Mm. And then... Uh, I, and that's why I was thinking, you know, why isn't he announcing anything? Why isn't he saying anything? You know, we got to know what's going on. And, and then I kept thinking, you know, surely he's not going to announce it this close to the date. So I kind of started to think maybe I was in the clear. And then, of course, Instagram last night around, I think it was around 4 o'clock, he yeah. posted it. And, yeah, my heart just sunk. <laughs> Your heart sunk and then social media went on fire. Uh, what, did you make oh, of yeah. the, what do you make of the short notice? Um, I gotta be honest with you, I find it a little bit disappointing. I mean, from speaking uh, personally, it's obviously sort of screwed up my plans a little bit. Um, and I mean, I'm also thinking about all the other fans. There's fans who have who've been on airplanes and hotels and, and uh, you know, came here on uh, for Monday's show and couldn't make it. And then now all of a sudden they have 48 hours to make all new arrangements. So. You know, my heart really goes out to those people, especially. But, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a, a bit short notice. Yeah, and I think some of them are probably not going to be able to make it, right? Because they probably can't take the expense of that twice. So so you have a tough choice to make. Because you have, you have tickets to Lady Gaga's show, which is also happening the same night. I know. What are the chances? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? You know, this was something that was really, really tough to decide. Um, fortunately, I did have that <laughs> insider scoop that it gave me a couple extra days to, to really think it over. Um, what I sort of went back and forth with was with uh, the fact that, I mean, crossing my fingers that Lady Gaga is still showing up tomorrow, unless, you know, she's going to cancel on this too, <laughs> is the fact that she is showing up, hopefully, um, and it's going to be a night that she had originally intended on being there. This show for Drake was, you know, rescheduled and, you know, wasn't supposed to happen. I'm also going, supposed to go to Lady Gaga with four other people, whereas Drake was just with one other person. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a very, very, very tough decision. But uh, last night I finally made the decision and said, you know what, I think I think I gotta go to Lady Gaga. Mm, now, of course, you know, Drake did have COVID right or was tested positive for covid so that's one of the reasons did you did you have any sort of thoughts about him getting covid or thinking well, thinking about whether he had covid thinking, yeah i mean i'm thinking yeah uh, touch wood i i fortunately i haven't had covid yet but mm. that i know of so um i haven't experienced that i've had some uh, friends and family have, mm. and fortunately everybody's been okay so you know my first thought is i hope trick obviously is healthy He's and, healthy and, you know, yeah yeah just doesn't get seriously ill because of it um, but then to test negative so soon afterwards, I don't know, it seemed a little bit strange to me. I, I know that usually with a test, it usually takes a few days, a week or two, at least to leave the, for, to get a negative test. So, so what are you, so let's get to the tickets. What are you doing with your Drake tickets then? You know what? They were, as of this morning at I think around 11:30, they were unfortunately sold, and I'm. I, it, it was very hard to let go of them. There was finger fingerprints and fingernail marks probably in them as I passed them along, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna pry a little. Um, how much did you sell them for? Because those are expensive tickets. They were very expensive tickets for for some people actually. Yeah, so I, I did get very lucky. Um, I, I somebody from uh, from MLFC actually was able to get me some tickets on uh, the lookout deck, which I've never actually experienced, so I was really, really excited to do that. Um, but, uh, so I only paid about 145 each ticket, I believe, so I was extremely lucky. Um, as soon as I said on Twitter that I couldn't make it, my 
Twitter and even my Instagram went crazy because mm -hmm. people were like, you didn't answer on, Insta on Twitter, so I found you on Instagram. And I must have had about 100 messages from people saying, how much do you want for them? Where are the seats? And this and that. And it was very overwhelming, actually. Um, I had some good offers from people, but I think ultimately I wanted them to go to somebody who I think was going to really enjoy them um, and somebody who, you know, deserved them. So uh, it was, they actually ended up going to a friend of a friend and uh, I, I really hate to <laughs> admit it, but yeah, we sold the two tickets for $800. Which I have to say is a deal for what they are on other sites. Daniel, thank you. Enjoy the concert tomorrow. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's Danielle Wright, who had tickets to attend the Young Money reunion show, but is now attending Lady Gaga's concert tomorrow instead. Uh, well, Danielle, how about some Lady Gaga music for you? This is Rain On Me featuring Ariana Grande.